mein Hut, der hat drei Ecken. Drei Ecken hat mein Hut. Und hat er mir nicht drei Ecken, dann ist es nicht mein Hut. Welcome to another episode of Opa's Corner. Let's start with a story. A woman brings a very limp duck into a veterinary surgeon. As she lays her beloved pet duck on the table, the vet puts his stethoscope to the bird's chest and listens carefully. A moment later, the vet shakes his head and says sadly, I'm really sorry, ma'am, but your duck cuddles has passed away. The woman becomes quite distressed and begins to cry. Are you sure? She says with tears flooding from her eyes. Yes, ma'am, I'm sure, the vet responds. Your duck is definitely dead. But how can you be so sure? The woman protests. I mean, you haven't done any testing on him or anything, have you? Perhaps he's just stunned, or, or in a coma, or something. The vet rolls his eyes, then turns around and leaves the room. A few minutes later, he returns with a black Labrador retriever. As the duck's owner looks on in amazement, the Labrador stands on his hind legs puts his front paws on the examination table and sniffs around the duck from top to bottom. He then looks up at the vet with sad eyes and shakes his head. The vet pats the dog on the head and takes it out of the room. A few minutes later, the vet returns with a cat. The cat jumps on the table and delicately sniffs at the bird from its head to its feet. After a moment, the cat looks up, shakes its head, meows softly, and strolls out of the room. The vet looks at the woman and says, Look, ma'am, I'm really sorry, but as I said before, this is most definitely a duck that is no longer of this world. Your duck is dead. The vet then turns to his computer terminal, hits a few keys, and produces a bill which he hands to the woman. The duck's owner, still in shock, looks at the bill and sees it's $150. $150 to tell me my duck is dead, she shrieks. The vet shrugs his shoulders and says, I'm sorry, ma'am. If you'd taken my word for it, the bill would have been $20. However, with a lab report and the CAT scan, it's now $150. Jack is a cowboy working on a large ranch in a remote pasture in Wyoming. One day, as he's overseeing the livestock on the ranch, a brand new 7 Series BMW suddenly advances toward him, creating an enormous cloud of dust in the process. The car stops, and the driver is a young man in a Brioni suit, Gucci shoes, Ray-Ban sunglasses, and a YSL tie. He steps out of the car and says to the cowboy, if I tell you exactly how many cows and calves you have in your herd, will you give me a calf? Jack looks at the man, who's obviously a yuppie. He then looks at his peacefully grazing animals and responds calmly, Sure, why not? The yuppie then whips out a very impressive iPhone Pro smartphone from his jacket pocket and begins to surf the NASA website. Simultaneously, he uses the GPS satellite to get the exact coordinates of his location. He then feeds that back to Google Earth to capture a high-resolution image of this location. The young man then opens the digital image in Photoshop 
and exports it to an image processing facility in Langley, Virginia. Within seconds, he receives an email to his iPhone Pro to confirm that the image has been processed and the data captured and stored. He then accesses a Microsoft SQL database through an ODBC connected Excel spreadsheet and after a few minutes he receives a response. And finally he uses an air print printer in his car to print a full color 150 page report. He then turns back to Jack and hands him the report and says, Sir, you'll see from the executive summary that you have exactly 1,585 cows and calves. That's right, says Jack. I guess you could take one of my calves. Jack then watches with amusement as the young man struggles to get the animal into the trunk of his car. After a minute or two, Jack says to the guy, Hey, if I can tell you exactly what your business is, will you give me my calf back? The young man thinks for a second and then says, Sure, why not? You're a congressman for the U.S. government, Jack says. Wow, that's correct, says the yuppie. But how did you guess that? No guessing required, son. Jack responded. You showed up here even though nobody called you. You wanted me to pay for an answer I already know to a question I never ask. You used millions of dollars worth of equipment trying to show me how smart you are and you don't even know a thing about how ordinary working people make a living or about cows for that matter. If you did, you know that this herd is actually a flock of sheep. Now give me back my dog. And now for the funnies. And now for this week's funnies. Yes, it's plugged in. Now what? Here comes a big gust. No, wait, fade it out. Just a breeze. But who boy, are those trees wrestling way over there. Well, I got good news. And I've got bad news. Man, I hate it when the clocks change. There is no I in Jesus, but there is in us. We don't want to release him, but he has this card. Our suspicions finally confirmed. Okay, you guys, you know the drill. Our customers finally know where to find everything. Tonight, we mix it all up again. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I seen all the commotion with that there monsters destroying half the city and whatnot. And I says to myself, hell, why don't someone just shoot the varmint? Testing whether or not rhinos land on their feet. Young Stephen King. And that's how I spent my summer vacation. Out of odor. Jimi Hendrix beats his destiny. Bobby was there first. Fair is fair, James. You'll have to use the guitar today. The middle-aged Rick Springfield. I wish that I had Jesse's grill. Well, let's see. So far, 
I got rhythm, I got music. Actually, who could ask for anything more? You know, boys, sometimes I stare up at the stars like this and I wonder, I wonder, wonder who, who wrote the book of love. I'll never forget when he was itsy bitsy and got stuck in the water spout. Oh, and gee, Mom! That wasn't me! What's on TV, dear? Same damn idiot on every channel. Spoiled rotten kids. In my day, we only had black and white fire. Andy's gas and go. Shoot, you're not only got the wrong planet, you got the wrong solar system. I mean, a wrong planet I can understand, but a whole solar system? All the time I thought she was calling for Auntie M. For most of you who are familiar with Charlton Heston and the original Planet of the Apes, the ending actually came from a deleted scene from The Wizard of Oz. In the end, Dorothy was home all along. You maniacs! You blew it up! Damn you! Damn you all to hell! And a clarification from a previous Opa's Corner. The Wizard of Oz picture with Dorothy and the dachshund named Otto was a photoshopped image and part of a 40-year-old-plus urban legend. Remember, this was part of the funnies. And on another note, it's been confirmed. George Jetson was born on July 31st, 2022. His boy Elroy will be born on April 19th, 2053. Daughter Judy will be born on October 6th, 2043. Jane, his wife, will be born on September 23rd, 2024. And that concludes Opa's Corner. My hut, der hat drei Ecken. Drei Ecken hat mein Hut. Und hat er nie nicht drei Ecken, dann ist es nicht mein Hut. <lacht>